Hello and welcome to this GIMP tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some fun text balloons to your photos. And this is a relatively easy process and I think you're going to enjoy it very much. It makes uh, looking at your photos pretty entertaining. Um, let's get started. I am going to click on the ellipse tool and I'm going to make an ellipse around his face. Doesn't have to be exact, but something like this is great. Then you're going to click on the free select tool. And what you want to make sure is clicked is this button right here where it says add to the current selection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. And what you can do to zoom in is you can either click on control plus and equals at the same time that's the shortcut or you can just click on zoom in. I still have my free select tool selected and I'm going to click on this edge here. Something about there is good. Here and close. And you see you have that text bubble uh, pretty close to perfectly shaped. The next thing I want to do is I want to add white to this and I do that by clicking on my fill tool and I want to make sure that my fill is white so this is my foreground color that's white and I just click inside that bubble. The next thing we're going to want to do is take this path and convert it to like a black stroke. The easiest way to do that is first switch your foreground color so now it's black. We're going to click on select to path and then we're going to click on edit stroke path and you're going to get a drop down box like this uh, line width you know what, four, three, four is okay. Solid color, we're going to use our foreground color, we already changed it, and we click on stroke. And you see instantly you have that black surrounding around that text bubble. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add text to this selection, and we're going to do that by clicking on the text tool, selecting inside the text tool, and you want to make sure that these settings are set to zero for now. Um, they may be at zero. I kind of play around with this a lot, so I change it. Uh, but start off with everything defaulted at zero. And we can write something like, it wasn't me. And then if we want to make that text bigger, we can go ahead and make it bigger. And if we want to center it, we can just center it. And right there looks about right. So you saw how uh, easy it was to create that text bubble. Uh, these are a lot of fun and uh, I highly encourage them. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And to get more tutorials like this, make sure to go to www.learngimpfast.com. Thanks and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.